And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Many people underestimate the Holy Spirit and its purpose. Israelites believe they have the Holy Spirit. However, their behavior revealed the Holy Spirit is not leading them. Yah's people do not know how the Holy Spirit operates. They have a vague understanding of the Holy Spirit and its purpose. Because many do not know how to interact with the Holy Spirit, they depend on human wisdom and distorted history for truth. The Most High said the wisdom of this world is foolishness in his sight. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Israelites, you cannot trust the wisdom of this world. The heathens in the kingdom of darkness have rewritten history. You cannot trust their books or the resources they use to claim anything as truth. There is no truth in them. The scriptures said Satan is a liar and the father of lies. The scriptures also said there is no truth found in Satan. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. If there is no truth in Satan, then there is definitely no truth in his seed and the workers of iniquity. Israelites, you cannot use human wisdom to verify Yah's truth. You're probably wondering what I mean by that. You cannot use human logic and books written by your enemies to confirm or to verify the scriptures. The heathens books and their wisdom cannot verify Yah's words nor deliver you. The Most High said, the Holy Spirit is the one to reveal truth to us and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. You do not need the heathen's school system nor their wisdom to find the truth in the scriptures. The Most High never said you have to attend seminary school to understand his words. The scripture said the Holy Spirit would reveal the truth to us, not human wisdom. If the Holy Spirit is revealing truth, then you need to get to know the Holy Spirit and interact with the Holy Spirit to get the wisdom that you seek. If you rely on human wisdom in this society to teach you the ways of the Most High, you will be deceived. The word of the Most High taught to us in the pagan church are false. What was taught to us was the kingdom of darkness deception. Another reason you cannot trust the wisdom of this world, the Most High said the world do not know him. Therefore, the world do not have the Holy Spirit. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Since the heathens do not have the Holy Spirit, how would they know the truth? The scriptures said they could not receive the Holy Spirit. Everything that you have learned from the heathens are lies. This is one out of the many reasons there is a need for the awakening. If the truth were in the world, then there wouldn't be a need for the awakening. The Israelites would know who they are and history would be told in the correct format. The history being taught to us was not approved by the Most High. That is the reason the Most High is revealing his truth through his spirit that he placed in his people today. The scriptures confirm that Yah would pour out his spirit upon his people and both men and women would prophesy. In addition, in the last days, knowledge would increase. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. 
It is through the Holy Spirit we gain the ability to prophesy. Yah did not say through the wisdom of this world verified by the heathen's books that will cause his people to prophesy. It said Yah's spirit will cause his people to prophesy. Therefore, Israelites, you do not need anything outside of Yah's spirit to reveal to you everything that you need to know about the world you live in and the Most High. The word of Yah would confirm what the Holy Spirit revealed to you. For example, let's say the Most High has revealed to you that you are an Israelite through the Holy Spirit. You read the scriptures and the scriptures confirm what the Holy Spirit said to you. While reading the scriptures for confirmation, the Most High will open your understanding and unseal the scriptures for you, regardless of what Bible version you use. Anything that was taken away from the scriptures or misleading, the Holy Spirit will fill in the blank and tell you the truth. Israelites, this is why many cannot understand and accept this truth. The only way anyone can understand the word of Yah and the messages he gives to his people is if the Most High give them the ability to understand. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. The God of this world, Satan, has blind the eyes of unbelievers to this truth. They cannot perceive this information. This is why they will argue and proclaim the awakening to be false. If Yah do not open your eyes, regardless if you're an Israelite or a heathen, to understand his words, you will never understand the scriptures, no matter how many times you study the Bible and use other tools for guidance. Without Yah opening up your understanding, combined with the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you, you will be lost and confused. The Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. A good example of people using human wisdom to decode the scriptures, the numerous doctrines that stems from the Israelite community, as well as the pagan church. Many Israelites are combining human wisdom with the scriptures to verify Yah's words. The Most High's words should have the final say, not what the heathens' books proclaim. A good example to help you understand what I'm saying, Israelites would share a message. Instead of using the scriptures as the final word to establish the matter, they believe if they use a book written by a heathen, it would give confirmation. No, Israelites. The word of Yah should have the final nail in the coffin to reveal the truth. Israelites love to use the Zondervan Bible Dictionary. Most Israelites have this dictionary because of one particular definition, Ham. He is the progenitor of the dark race, but not the Negro. I do not know how many people I have heard reference this dictionary to prove the Negroes are not Hamites. Israelites, the scriptures will reveal the same thing to you, but you must have the Holy Spirit to tell you this. It shouldn't take a heathen's dictionary to convince you that the Negroes is not a descendant of Ham. Many people say they have awakened from their slumber. Let me say this to you. Your oppressor's words hold more value to you than the Most High. If you do not believe me, conduct a search on YouTube and you will see how many people reference this ham definition in their teachings instead of using a scripture to reveal the descendants of slaves are from Shem's bloodline. That definition have more weight than the scripture and the most high to some people. A heathen is the author of this popular Bible dictionary. Yah's words should have the final say. By the way, it is the Most High that wake a person from their sleep, not my teachings nor your teachings. All we are doing is planting the seed. The Holy Spirit is watering the seed, causing it to blossom into a beautiful plant. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Phut, and Canaan. The scripture you just heard told you that the descendants of slaves are not Hamites. I know many of you are saying, no, it did not. If you have the Holy Spirit, it did. Israelites, the Holy Scriptures are sealed. Not too many can comprehend the Scriptures are sealed. The kingdom of darkness tries its best to dilute the Scriptures to cause confusion. However, even through manipulated Scriptures, the Holy Spirit is capable to reveal truth. Satan's addition to the Bible cannot stop the Most High in revealing the things to come. 
The Most High knew Satan and his seed would manipulate the scriptures. That is why he had his disciples and prophets write the scriptures in a way that only a person that has the Holy Spirit dwelling in them will be able to understand. If you know who Cush, Mishraim, Put, and Canaan are today, then you know the Negroes are not Ham's descendants. You do not need a heathen's Bible dictionary to reveal this to you. Everything you need to know, the Most High will tell you through the Holy Spirit. Israelites, it is important to know how to interact with the Holy Spirit. The Most High command Daniel to seal his writings. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The only way to unseal the scriptures, the Most High have to open your eyes to understand the scriptures and the Holy Spirit will guide you into the truth. Israelites, the Holy Spirit job is not only to open up the scriptures, but also a guide. The Holy Spirit is to assist you in all areas of your life. Do not set limitations on the Holy Spirit. Another way to help you understand the purpose of the Holy Spirit, I would compare the Holy Spirit to your Google search engine or your phone's AI. If you have a life-changing decision to make and you need assistance, if you ask the Most High for his input, the Holy Spirit will give you Yah's response. For example, you meet a man and you fall in love with him. He wants to marry you and you're not sure what to do. That is an important life-changing decision to make. If you ask the Most High for his help, he will assist you by revealing the man's character to you. The Holy Spirit would be the one revealing this information to you. How, you may ask, the Holy Spirit will begin to point out the red flags. You will begin to notice things that you did not see before. You will get that nudge that alert you that something is wrong. In addition, countless other ways the Most High would reveal marriage with this person is good or run for your life. Many people have heard and seen the Most High's attempts and warnings, but many allow the lust of the flesh and emotions override the Most High's guidance. When the relationship deteriorates, they are in shock and act as if they never saw the red flags. The correct way to interact with the Holy Spirit, you would have to pray, ask the Most High for His input. Yah will use the Holy Spirit to give you a response. Through the Holy Spirit, the Most High speak and give you instructions. You would have to follow those instructions. This is where faith comes in. Israelites, the Holy Spirit speak to you daily. Some people cannot discern the Most High's voice from the many voices speaking to them. Many Israelites do not know how to interact with the Holy Spirit. Because many Israelites cannot differentiate, they do not bother asking the Most High for help. Israelites, understand that if the Most High is not guiding you, then the kingdom of darkness is guiding you. Remember, the role that you play is selecting if the Holy Spirit through the kingdom of the Most High will influence you or will the kingdom of darkness with unclean spirits and fallen angels influence you. You are only choosing and you have to make those decisions daily. Judging from our situation, collectively as a people, many Israelites are best friends with the kingdom of darkness. Israelites allow unclean spirits to influence them instead of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of slander and gossip dwell in many Israelites and heathens. That is why YouTube is filled with tea channels and social media love to drag and spill tea. That behavior is not coming from the Most High. The kingdom of darkness is the force behind gossip, slander, and bullying. The same goes for Israelite teachers speaking the word in one sentence, then cussing up a storm in the next sentence. The scripture said, out of the same mouth comes blessings and cursings. Israelites, that is not of the Most High. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Some teachers are slandering other people and promoting division among their own community to gain a following. These teachers are best friends with the spirit of strife, pride, and greed. Those unclean spirits are guiding them. A real teacher of the Most High is supposed to lead Yah's people to the Most High, not themselves to gain a following. In addition, if you were ordained by the Most High, Yah would send his people to your ministry. You do not need to pick a fight with another teacher and his or her subscribers for attention. If you are truly anointed, then your anointing would validate you. 
Because the Holy Spirit is dormant in many Israelites, this is why the spirit of confusion is plaguing our communities. Israelites are not receiving the help they need because they are not interacting with the Holy Spirit. Most Israelites rather hear the opinions of another person than the Most High. Israelites, the Most High work in his own timing. You have to understand how the Most High operate. Yah's way is not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Many people do not want to labor for what they want. Israelites believe because they are of the chosen seed, all they have to do is ask the Most High, and just like that, they should receive without delay the desires of their heart. The Most High do not operate like that, Israelites, not because he is incapable of blessing you swiftly, because he knows you better than you know yourself. One of the many reasons you have to wait, the Most High have to prepare you for what you're asking for. Just because you believe you are ready for a mate do not indicate you are ready for marriage. The Most High has to tame your flesh to get you in a position to be able to receive what you want first. Once you are ready, then Yah will bless you. Most Israelites are not ready for what they're asking for. The same goes for seeking wisdom. If you're not ready to digest meat, you will be fed milk until you are ready to eat meat. Israelites, when you labor and wait patiently for something, once you finally receive it, you will appreciate it more. Jacob, our forefather, loved Rachel. He loved Rachel so much that he was willing to work seven years for her father to gain the ability to marry her. After working for seven years for his wife, Rachel, Laban misled Jacob and gave Leah for a wife instead of Rachel, the woman he loved. And Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve thee seven years for Rachel, thy younger daughter. And it came to pass that in the morning, behold, it was Leah. And he said to Laban, What is this thou hast done unto me? Did not I serve with thee for Rachel? Wherefore then hast thou beguiled me? Because of the love Jacob had for Rachel, he was willing to work an additional seven years to have her for his wife. Jacob labored a total of 14 years for Rachel. Jacob favored Rachel over his wife Leah. And he went in also unto Rachel. And he loved also Rachel more than Leah, and served with him yet seven other years. The Most High recognized the hatred towards Leah, and the Most High blessed Leah and opened her womb, and she gave birth to multiple children. Due to the sins of Jacob, the Most High closed the womb of Rachel, she was barren for multiple years before she can give birth to her sons, Joseph and Benjamin. To those of you who do not believe other people's sins do not affect you, Rachel was barren due to the hatred Leah received from her husband Jacob. Those of us who claim Judah as our tribe descend from Jacob and Leah. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. And she conceived again, and bare a son, and she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Therefore she called his name Judah, and left bearing. Israelites, you have to be willing to make sacrifices on your spiritual journey. Just because it is taking time, do not conclude the Most High did not hear you. Yah heard you the first time. Because many of you are not interacting with the Holy Spirit, you do not know where you stand with the Most High. Israelites, it is important to interact with the Holy Spirit. That is your guide in everything that you do in this life. That is how you remain connected with the Most High. You cannot afford to have the Holy Spirit dormant in you. That is spiritual suicide. When something is dormant, it is no longer in use. How would you learn truth? In addition, the kingdom of darkness will have you going around in circles, wasting your life because you are not listening to the Holy Spirit. Israelites, do not mistake the Holy Spirit being dormant with not having the Spirit living in you. The Holy Spirit is there. All Israelites have the Holy Spirit. Through a lack of knowledge and deception, you do not know how to interact with Yah's Spirit. That will change today. I receive a lot of questions from people all over the world on how did I learn to discern the scriptures. My response is brief, through prayer and fasting, spending time in the presence of the Most High. 
through my constant communication with the Most High, I learn to discern the Most High's voice. Yah, allow the Holy Spirit to reveal to me truth and the things that I need to know. The scripture said, if you seek the Most High with all your heart, you would find him. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. I am only following the instructions of the Most High through his Spirit. I am not doing the work, but the Most High through his Spirit dwelling in me. I am just like you seeking truth and building a relationship with the Elohim of Israel. Israelites, I am an ordinary Israelite who love the Most High. If you wish to gain wisdom, seek your Elohim. You are as close to the Most High as you want to be. If you do not like where you are, you have the ability to change that. When you know how to interact with the Holy Spirit, it will become difficult for the kingdom of darkness to deceive you. When a person like myself revealed to you that there are hybrids among us, you will know exactly what I'm saying. You will not react like the heathens and sleeping Israelites by being outraged and have an emotional meltdown. The Holy Spirit will enlighten you. Israelites, do not mistake studying to show thyself approved with pride in the Holy Spirit. You can study to memorize the scriptures and where they are in the Bible, but for the interpretation and the meaning behind the scriptures, that is solely up to the Most High in His Spirit. When you read verses like John 3.16, the Holy Spirit will pick that verse apart and reveal to you the real meaning behind the verse. When an Israelite that has the Holy Spirit dormant in them read John 3.16, his or her interpretation will correspond with the understanding of the world, which is, Yah love everyone. The Israelites who consistently interact with the Holy Spirit will understand, Yah do not love the world and everyone. Israelites, do not commit spiritual suicide by allowing the Holy Spirit of the Most High to remain dormant in you. Israelites, the same Holy Spirit gave Yahshua the power to cast out devils, walk on water, heal the sick, and interact with the Most High. The same Holy Spirit raised Yahshua from the dead. Remember, the Holy Spirit is Yah's spirit. It is time that you awake the sleeping power, the Holy Spirit, that every single one of you have dwelling in you. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them, and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost.